اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In the previous sessions, we have looked into NCA and IPMA separately. In this particular session, we are going to use or perform the analysis with the combined use of IPMA and NCA. Now, the authors have given us detailed steps that we can use to perform these analysis that includes the use of IPMA and NCA in combination. Now, the step one is that you have to Specify the research objectives and theoretical background. Step 2, you have to prepare the and check the data. That includes screening and cleaning the data. Step 3, run your PLS SCM analysis. Step 4, evaluate the quality criteria that includes the reliability and validity of the measurement models. And then finally, we run the IPMA and transfer the latent variable scores. Now, all of this has been discussed in great detail in the earlier videos and the link to the whole playlist will also be shared whereas the videos on the use of IPMA and NCA will also be shared. Now before going on and watching this video I strongly recommend the scholars to watch the videos on NCA and IPMA. Now once you have done with or once you are done with step 1, 2, 3 and 4 and have watched the NCA and IPMA to understand or better understand the concept of these two analysis. Now we will go for step number five. So run IPMA and transfer the latent variable scores. Now here is the model that I'm interested in. I'm looking at the impact of these variables on loyalty. So first I will run IPMA. Here it is. My dependent variable, all good. And these are the theoretical minimum and maximum values all good unstandardized let's start now once this is done you can obviously assess the output we are normally interested in this map and if you look here commitment is important but it is not performing in predicting the outcome for details I will still recommend you to watch the video on IPMA. Now the next step, we go to latent variables and let's say what we've got here. Export the rescaled latent variable score and if desired the rescaled indicator data to the new file and import the new file into R or Smart PLS. So we are going to use the rescaled data here. Create data file and let's have only the latent variable scores and let's call it combined use of IPMA and NCA. Let's start. Let's go back. We'll go back and we'll create a model or regression model for NCA. Now let's rename it NCA with IPMA and save. Now dependent variable is loyalty. Put it in the independent variables, select them, put them on here and let's have our data file and here it is. Now I'm going to run the model. Now in order to understand the complete output, the concept of NCA, please watch the video in the description. All good. Let's start. Ceiling lying effect size overview. Now here are the results. Looks unnecessary condition this looks like a necessary condition this looks like a necessary condition too now we will run the permutation in order to find out whether and these are significant or not so we'll go back we'll go to calculate and see a permutations the recommended is 10,000 and let's start if you look here this one is insignificant well this one is significant the rest of them are significant as well so those that are significant you can say these are significantly necessary in explaining the outcome or leading to customer loyalty now in order to better understand both these concepts please watch the earlier videos that offer detailed introduction with examples on on the concepts of nca and ipma 
This short session was focused on how to use both these analysis or techniques in combination. Thank you very much.